الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيبنا وحبيب رب العالمين أما بعد My brothers and sisters as you know we are in this blessed month the month of Ramadan and the time is going very fast the event an accident an incident took place in our life it looked like a day or a, a week or if someone among us goes to their country for two three months on vacation on a trip and coming back we asked him how was your trip the trip of three or four months the answer we received they say it looked like a week it looked like a day or it well it or at least they say it went very fast this is the feeling of human being in this dunya in this dunya what will be the feeling the, about the children of Adam alayhi salam, all the children, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask this question? And this is from Surah Al-Mu'minun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qala, kam labistum fil ardi adada sinin. How many years did you stay or did you spend on this earth and pay attention to this question allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking particular question Kam fil ardi adada sinin? how many years in the next ayah the people are replying or they will reply they say Labisna yawman aw ba'da yawm. we stayed only a day or a part of a day now the question is about how many years and the, the answer is Labisna yawman aw ba'da yawm. They are a part of a day. It's one answer. In Surah Yunus, ayah number 45, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give another answer about the people. وَيَوْمَ يَحْشُرُهُمْ كَأَلَّمْ يَلْبَثُوا إِلَّا سَاعَةً مِنَ النَّهَارِ يَتَعَارَفُونَ بَيْنَهُمْ and on the day of judgment, it looked like they, they have stayed only an hour of a day. Some people will be talking to one another and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the word It is Surah Taha, ayah number 103 and 104. These are very interesting ayat related to this topic. Some people will be talking to one another in very low voice, murmuring to one another. يَتَخَافَتُونَ بَيْنَهُمْ إِلَّا بِسْتُمْ إِلَّا عشرة. You have stayed only 10 days. The next ayah, which is ayah number 104, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, نَحْنُ أَعْلَمُ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ إِذْ يَقُولُ أَمْسَلُهُمْ طَرِيقَةً إِلَّا بِسْتُمْ إِلَّا يَوْمًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we know very well the best among them in knowledge and, and wisdom. He said, you have not stayed but only one day. One day. Go one of the ayah from Surah Al-Nazi'at in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described. كَأَنَّهُمْ يَوْمَ يَرَوْنَهَا لَمْ يَلْبَثُوا إِلَّا عَشِيَّةً أَوْ ضُحَاهَا When they see the situation on the day of judgment, and they will remember, Lam Yalbasu, they have not stayed only, it was a morning time or evening time. Ashiyatan aw duha. Now go back to the question. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking, How many years? Kam la bistum fil ardi adada sinin. So the different answer is given in the Quran, and it will be there on the day of judgment. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you see, He is so merciful. He had mentioned things before it happened. 
and the prophets and messenger. That's why they are called Rasul and Nabi um, to bring that message, to convey that message. And Nabi means to inform us what is going to happen on the day of judgment. And it is being happened many things which were mentioned and informed by the prophets and messengers. So go back to the question, how many years did you stay on this earth? So the answer was, day are a part of a day, hour of a day, 10 days, one day. It was morning time and evening time. All these are different answers. Because we do not have the correct data of our life, even among us, maybe uh, some webinar participant or 50 years old or 60 years old maybe 30 years or a young, a youth. And if you ask yourself, if I ask you this question, how many years did you stay? How many, do you remember everything which happened in your life? You may describe this whole 60 years of your life within one hour because you do not have the correct data. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, on the day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrect them all together, all human beings from Adam alayhi salam till the last person. And he will inform what they have done in this dunya. You know the next word of this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was counting each and every single moment of your life. Each and every single moment of your life. Wanasu, why you forgot them? You forgot them. Wallahu ala kulli shayin shaheed and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is witnessing is sufficient to be witness for everything you may deny that's why my brothers and sisters there are a lot of benefit of the sun and the moon a lot of benefits but one of the benefits is also very important allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah number surah, surah number 10 which is surah yunus ayah number five allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Subhanallah. It is one of the benefit, along with other benefits, the benefit of the sun and the moon give you light. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says that you should count your years and your times. Similar ayah is repeated again. In uh, uh, ayah number 12 of Surah Al Isra, ayah number uh, Surah 17, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَجَعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ آيَتَيْنِ فَمَحَوْنَا آيَةَ اللَّيْلِ وَجَعَلْنَا آيَةَ النَّهَارِ مُمُسْرَةً لِتَبْتَغُوا فَضْلًا مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَلِتَعْلَمُوا عَدَدَ السِّنِينَ وَالْحِسَابِ To look to the sun and the moon and also to count your time. لِتَعْلَمُ How many years have you stayed in this dunya? And shaitan plays with our mind. The more the year is passing, the way we celebrate the new year, we were supposed to be more said. Because that one more year has been decreased from our life, from our time. But shaitan is not going to tell us that one year you were healthy, you were wealthy, you had food, you have shelter, you have clothes, you have everything. Now enjoy. Look like a one year is more increased. Shaitan beautified. So, my brothers and sisters, what we are doing in our life in this dunya, each and every one is writing their own book. Each and every one. But the relationship or the connection of that book is related to us till the last breath of our life. The moment that breath is gone, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will close that book. The angels are writing their book. It is closed. Either it is in Aliyin or Sijin. It is preserved. Nobody can touch it. 
But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, a time will come when we bring out this book. وَنُخْرِجُ لَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كِتَابًا يَلْقَاهُ مَنْشُورًا اِقْرَأْ كِتَابَكْ كَفَى بِنَفْسِكَ الْيَوْمَ عَلَيْكَ حَسِيبًا وَنُخْرِجُ لَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كِتَابًا On the day of judgment when we bring out that book يَلْقَاهُ مَنْشُورًا You will find in, open in front of you Announcement will be made اِقْرَأْ كِتَابَكْ Read your book. Read the book of your own deeds. Some people looking to their book, they will be surprised. They say, Ya waylatana, ma li hadha al-kitab la yughadiru saghiratan wa la kabiratan illa ahsara. Which kind of book is this? It did not abandon or did not give up. It did not leave anything either minor or major, small or big. Ya waylatana, ma li hadha al-kitab What's, what, which kind of book is this? لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها ووجدوا ما حملوا حاضرا And they will find whatever they have done in this thing. That's why my brothers and sisters, what we see, what we listen, what we think, everything there is a question and there will be a, a, a ask. إن السمع والبصر والفؤاد there will be question about it. What are we doing? But my brothers and sisters, there would be no another chance, even on our request. Many times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, send me back, I will do. But nobody wants to go to the hellfire, Jahannam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses a pesawise sentence, they will be pushed. Some people will be screaming and crying in the day on, on the day of judgment in the hellfire. In Surah Al Fatir, ayah number 37, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even described that scene. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wahum yastarikhuna fiha. ربنا أخرجنا نعمل صالحا غير الذي كنا نعمل أو لم نعمركم ما يتذكر فيه من تذكر screaming يسترخون فيها and requesting ربنا أخرجنا oh Allah take us out from this hellfire from this disastrous situation calamities problem on the day of judgment and they say requesting what take us back Na'mal salih and we're going to do righteous and good deed. Ghayr alladhi kunna na'mal. Not the deed we used to do. You're not going to repeat the same thing. What does Allah say in the same ayah? Awalam nu'am mirkum ma yatazakkaru fihi man tazakkar. Awalam nu'am mirkum ma yatazakkaru fihi man tazakkar. Didn't we give you life? Didn't we give you life? Didn't come to you a warner? Why you did not get a lesson from him? A warner has come to you. You did not pay attention to that. That's why my brothers and sisters, you probably heard that hadith. And as I mentioned, one of the job of the Prophet to inform people. And he did inform. And he delivered his message. And he made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also to be witness. Allahumma shahad. And then he asked the people who were there. And all of them, they say, you have conveyed the message. You deliver the message. You inform us. And you warn us. And you give a good news to us who will accept the message. So one of that hadith, which is narrated by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, لا تزول قدم ابن آدم حتى يسأل عن خمس عن عمره فيما أفناه 
وعن شبابه فيما أبلاه وعن ماله من أين اتسب وفيما أنفق وماذا عمل فيما علم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم says that on the day of judgment the feet of the son of Adam shall not move unless he is questioned about five things about his life and how did he spend it and a question important question up important time of your life that was your youth time how did you waste that time a crucial time important time unfortunately we give that time to our desires and when we come we grow and we are non-important time we give that time to allah but the question will be raised on the day of judgment about the youth time as well question number three is about your wealth how did you get it how did you earn it question number four is then how did you spend it and the last question is my brothers and sister to what extent did you act upon that knowledge which you received you may call yourself my brothers and sisters that you did not go to islamic university or islamic institute or you did not join any halaqa in the masjid but at least and every friday and friday khutbah or you get something knowledge and there will be question from the ulama from the khutaba from the khatibs and from the general people to what extent did you act upon that this question that's why my brothers and sisters nowadays what we are facing isolation or shelter in home or quarantine what are we doing in this time? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Ni'matani maghboolun fihima kathirun min al-nas. As-sihhat wal faraam. There are two special blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about which majority people, maximum people, a lot of people, kathirun min al-nas, majority of the people, they are careless about it. They do not care. Their free time and their health. <laughs> Free time, my brothers and sisters, is a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how to use, how to use that time to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleased with you. And the time is, is running, is not coming back. Free time, nowadays we are in the month of Ramadan. We do have time, we are in our houses. How do we spend our time nowadays? It is with Quran, with the Hadith, with the study, with learning. That's why my brothers and sisters, there is a Hadith Qudsi, which is narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu. That Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تَفَرَّغْ لِعِبَادَتِي أَمْلَأْ صَدْرَكَ غِنًا وَأَسُدَّ فَقْرًا وَإِلَّا تَفْعَلْ مَلَأْتُ يَدَيْكَ شُغْلًا وَلَمْ أَسُدَّ فَقْرًا O oh, son of Adam, take some time for my services. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this hadith Qudsi. O oh, son of Adam, take some time for my services. I have created you for my worship, for my services. Take time. You have to squeeze your time. Give priority to my deen. I shall fill your heart with contentment. وَأَسُدَّ فَقْرَكَ And I will remove your poverty. وَإِلَّا تَفْعَلَ If you don't do that, if you don't take time for my deen, for my services. What's this next part? You say, يَا مَلَأْتُ يَدَيْكَ شُغْلًا I will keep your hands busy, busy. You may be willing here, but you will always be busy in your work. And the work of is only the dunya. How to make this, how to make money. Well, I'm Asud the Fakrat, and I will never remove your poverty. That's why, my brothers and sisters, it is important. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was sitting, and a man came to him, and he asked this question Ya Rasulullah, Ayyul Nasi Khair, who are the best people? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa says, Man tala umruhu wa hasuna amalu. 
the one who lives long life, but he also has a lot of good deeds. The questioner, the person who asks, he asks another question. Who are the bad people, O Messenger of Allah? The Prophet وسلم, repeated this first part of the essay. The one who lived long life, but he has a lot of bad deeds too. Long life is a mercy, is a favor of Allah to work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not to increase bad deeds, evil action. So, my brothers, we should ask ourselves in this blessed month, in this blessed month, why do I exist? Why does the world exist? What is the purpose of my existence? Why did Allah create me? What is the difference between me and animal and other creatures? We should ask this question. And I'm sorry to say that if you ask this question, that if the purpose of my life to eat, sleep, drink, and to fulfill my sexual desires, then these things are done by animals. Easily they do it. Then what is the difference between me and them? This is a terrible question. If my purpose, if my purpose of life only to make this dunya, then listen to these ayat again from Surah Yunus, from Surah Al-Kahab and Surah Al-Najam. And I'm going to repeat those ayat to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna alladheena la yarjuna liqa'ala waradu bil hayat dunya watma annu biha walladheena hum an ayatina ghafiloon. Those who do not hope, those who do not believe in meeting with us and they are fully satisfied with the life of this dunya. And they have tranquility in this dunya. Waradu bil hayat dunya watma annu biha. They are in headless. Subhanallah. Their dwelling and their station and their house will be in the hellfire. Go read the ayah from Surah Al Kahf. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alladina dalla sa'yuhum fil hayat al dunya. And Allah subhanahu before that ayah, Allah says, should I tell you who are the losers? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Those whose most of their time is spent only how to make this dunya. And they think they are doing good. They know everything from this dunya, but they're forgetting the akhirah. In one of the ayah from Surah Al-Najm, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, فَأَعْرِضْ عَمَّنْ تَوَلَّى عَنْ ذِكْرِنَا وَلَمْ يُرِدْ إِلَّا الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا And let me tell you the ayah, you can read this ayah too. Surah Al-Najm, Surah number 53, and Ayah number uh, 20, 29. Ayah number 29. فَأَعْرِدْ O Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you turn away from these people. The one who turned away from my dhikr, from our deen, and dhikrina, وَلَمْ يُرِدْ إِلَّا الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا And they do not want only and only the wife, the life of this dunya. إِلَّا الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the word ذَلِكَ مَبْلَغُهُمْ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ The target of their knowledge. You know the achievement of their knowledge is what? ذَلِكَ مَبْلَغُهُمْ لَمْ يُرِدْ إِلَّا الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا And subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used this word it's muzarf, you know, mablag. Mablag, mablaguhum min al ilmi. This is their goal, this is their target, this is their achievement. 
how to achieve money and this Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he used to make dua Allahumma la taj'al ad-dunya akbar hammina wa la mablagha ilmina Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not make this dunya that all my smartness all my abilities all my strength and power only for this dunya no oh Allah do not make it that way for me so as I mentioned that we should ask ourselves this question why do I exist why do I exist what is the purpose of my life if the purpose of my existence is to eat sleep and drink and fulfill our sexual desires then the animals are doing and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he did say two times in the Quran and by the way every important issue is mentioned a minimum two times in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does say in Surah Al-A'raf in Surah Al-Furqan he says lahum qulubun la yaqqahuna biha wa lahum a'yunun la yusdiruna biha wa lahum a'zanun la yasma'una ulaika kal an'ami bal hum adal which means they have hearts with which they don't understand. They have eyes with which they don't see. They have ears with which they don't listen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called them they are like animal or cattle. Balhum adal are worse than them. They do see, they do understand, they do hear. But whatever is required by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they do not do that. They do listen to the music. They do waste their time and they do see the thing which are not. And along with that, my brothers and sisters, the ayah from Surah Al Furqan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Am tahsabu anna aksarahum yasma'una aw yaqilun inhum illa kal an'ami balhum abdallu sabila. Do you think they are using their intellectual abilities? Am tahsabu anna aksarahum yasma'un aw yaqilun? إِنْهُمْ إِلَّا كَالْأَنْعَامِ بَلْ هُمْ أَضَلُّ سَبِيلًا You think that they are using their intellectual ability أَكْثَرَ مِنْ يَسْمَعُونَ أَوْ يَعْمَ They listen and they But Allah says إِنْهُمْ إِلَّا كَالْأَنْعَامِ They are like animals بَلْ هُمْ أَضَلُّ Or worse than they So my brothers and sisters let us make a promise with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whatever life I have spent, if it was in ita'a, somehow ta'a, we should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. And let's make and renew our azm, our intention, our determination that the rest of the life, my today must be better than yesterday. My tomorrow must be better than today. If this is this what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya you are Ladina Amanu, it took Allah will tanzu, nafsumma qaddamat lagad. Every person should see what are you sending for your for your tomorrow and day tomorrow. And you know, see, my brothers and sisters, a scholar has written uh, and, and explained that I have kullu nafsin za ikatul maut. Every person, every person. Is going to die, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uses zaika. You know zaika, when you cook the food, or the sister who cook the food, the guests are coming to their house. After cooking, they 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 taste the food. We are actually cooking our food for akhira, which will be eaten by us. So, my brothers and sister, what are we cooking for our akhira? There will be hunger on the day of judgment. There will be thirsty, absent, absent. You know, no food, no drink will be available except how the coaster, the water from the pond of the Prophet. So, are you saving water and food for your akhirah? And that is your spiritual food, spiritual drink, my brothers and sisters. Let us promise with ourselves, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give us tawfiq. To act upon what he uh, has, Allahumma jalla min al-ladina yastamiyoon al-qawla fayyatamiyoon ahsana. May Allah subhanahu wa taala bless us.
and whoever organized this uh, webinar uh, for us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them reward and accept uh, from us this ikna word. We propagate propagating the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan wa ahsanul jaza.